Hi, my name is Noel Koch. I am the Executive Director uh, for Programs and Partnerships for the organization Nature, Environment and Wildlife Filmmaking, which is NUF for short. We have, for the past two weeks, been conducting NUF Dive Labs. The Dive Labs are part of our Ocean Access Program, which is aimed at creating opportunities for black African scientists, storytellers, filmmakers, conservationists, environmentalists, creating opportunities for them to get dive accreditation so that they can tell the stories about the magic that lies beneath the ocean. They can tell the stories about the reasons as to why we need to protect the ocean. We cannot save what we can't see. So today we are in Simonstown Beach we're training as part of the new fellow lab program as new divers in the film industry and the nature and environment and wildlife. First came here, my first experience, I froze. And that's when I realized that I needed more training and to get a bit familiar with water. At the time, I didn't realize that I had some very serious trauma issues with water. And part of the new fellow program has really made it possible for me to get comfortable with water, get equipped to tell stories about the ocean, marine life, and to work with other scientists. So what do you do? Weight belt off. It's very important because we live right next to the ocean. And not only do we live next to one ocean, we live next to two oceans. We live next to the Atlantic and the Indian. I've lived alongside the ocean my entire life. And this is the first time that I'm actually going into the ocean and finding all kinds of wildlife and creatures. And, and there's just so much life that have not been explored by us, especially people of color. I just think that it's important for more people of color to see people of color exploring these oceans and becoming comfortable with the water because this is also part of our world, it's also part of our life, it's also part of our responsibilities. So yeah, I want to tell stories so that we can hold a responsibility, so people know what we can do to take action and keep our places clean, keep it beautiful and for the next generations to enjoy the way that we can enjoy. Very first time that you had to do something like this, isn't it? Yeah? Yes. It was hard, eh? Uh, today we are learning how to recover someone that has passed out. With the elements today, the wind, um, the water being very choppy, um, extremely cold, uh, it was quite a challenge, um, but I felt very confident in the techniques that we learned. There's been a lot of fear involved um, with my relationship with the ocean. Um, but that's changing with, with, with free diving a lot, you know. Um, I'm, I'm able to respect it in a whole different manner uh, by being able to explore it and being, being able to see what's happening beneath the surface. You were still panicking? I stopped at some point. Because when I did you stop? When he said you can stand now. <laughs> <laughs> I am not really a great swimmer, so this is challenging, but a challenge that is reachable. I can actually see myself learning a lot from day one, now we're in day four. I do things that I never thought I'd do before. I am a marine biologist and an ocean school educator, so I teach the kids about the beauty of our oceans and how fragile our oceans are and what we can do for a sustainable future. So I would like to become a teacher that can actually dive and teach the kids about things that I experience myself, things that I see. We can only protect what we love. So we need to learn about our oceans, love our oceans, and then from that point, then we're definitely going to protect it. It was great. Uh, we just saw some fish, some starfish, some sea slugs. Uh, it was a great time, yeah. Woohoo! 